So we had a controversial roughing the passer penalty. No, I'm not talking about yesterday. I am talking about tonight, uh, a crazy one. This is the situation. It's a third down and eight at this point. So, you know, if the Raiders do not get the first down, then the Chiefs can potentially, you know, uh, get a drive going. There's a minute 14 left. But also, you know, don't give them the first down. They have to punt. You're at midfield. You can't get into field goal range right here. And as you see, Chris Jones is going to do a great job off the edge. He gets the pressure, actually gets a fumble, but... It is ruled roughing the passer, which is just, again, another one of these controversial roughing the passer penalties. You see this fan, he's very upset. He did not like that call. I understand why that fan is upset. It gave the Raiders three points. Here's the play again, and you see the ball is out at this point. So that's kind of another interesting thing is uh, I believe uh, I saw someone tweet out that uh, Chris Jones, the first player in NFL history to get a roughing the passer penalty while holding on to the football, but he has the ball. And the, it's the body weight rule. That's what they're calling here. But it's just so difficult to avoid this situation. You're trying to tackle a giant human being. I think we kind of forget uh, how big these quarterbacks are. Derek Carr is a, you know, he's, he's not even a big quarterback, but he's still 6'3 and 220 pounds. This guy is a, a tough guy to bring down. You can't just, you know, push him to the ground. You have to grab him and use your body weight to tackle him. But then you can't put the body weight on him. It makes things so difficult. And so, look, he does kind of fall on card, but he also kind of tries to, you know, they even brought up on the broadcast, he doesn't try to use his whole body weight. He tries to get around him. It's just like, what are you supposed to do there? And here's kind of my thing about this stuff. It's like, listen, I get it. You want to protect the quarterbacks. They'd rather have some bad roughing the passer penalty calls than have more quarterbacks get injured. I understand all of that. But you think about the swing in this game. I mean, the Chiefs would have had the football at, you know, in Raider territory here with a minute and 10 seconds left down just 10 points. They ended up getting a field goal at the end of the half. So it was still a, you know, a 10 point deficit by the end of it. But still, it's like, this is the big swing in this football game. This could have been a one score game. Uh, this could have even been a three point game had this call stood. And it's just, the, the, you got to figure something out because I just don't know what Chris Jones was supposed to do here. I mean, at this point, Putting flags on the quarterback would work way better than whatever the hell they're doing right now. So they got to figure something out. This feels like a reaction to the Tua stuff, uh, and they don't have it down yet. And it's, you know, it's really hurting football teams. So we'll see what happens in the second half. Maybe it won't cost the Chiefs, but definitely hurt them. And hey, Raiders getting calls. That seems like that typically goes the other way. So uh, yeah, crazy stuff.